Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa paid tribute to press and media professionals as the world celebrates the World Press Freedom Day under the theme Critical Minds for Critical Times, media's role in advancing peaceful, just and inclusive societies. In his statement, His Majesty the King stressed the rights guaranteed under comprehensive reforms to all journalists to seek out and use information and to express their opinions independently and freely, drawing on their responsibility towards the higher interests of the nation and abiding by professional and ethical standards. His Majesty the King extended his greetings and appreciation to all journalists and media professionals on the occasion of World Press Freedom Day. He stated that this is an important international event in which he reaffirmed his support for free and reasonable speech. He expressed his pride in national media, its history since the 1930s and its crucial role as a fundamental partner in the process of comprehensive and sustainable reforms and development. His Majesty also also expressed his satisfaction with the participation of the international press community and the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, the UNESCO, in celebrating World Press Freedom Day. He cited it as a part of a shared awareness of the role of responsible and free press and pluralistic media in building nations, spreading the values of peace and justice and consolidating democracy and sustainable development. His Majesty emphasized his keenness since the launch of the reforms that was supported by an unprecedented popular approval on providing the constitutional guarantees and appropriate environment for journalists and media professionals. He also affirmed to the journalists' rights to seek and use information and to express their opinions independently and freely without restriction, drawing on their responsibility towards the higher interests of the nation and abiding by professional and ethical standards. His Majesty stated that free press has always been a cornerstone of Bahrain's democratic society under a legislative, judicial and rights system that guarantees freedom of newspaper publication, distribution and independence. He added that free press must respect intellectual property rights, protect journalists' rights and dignity and encourage them to innovate and to enlighten public opinion without restrictions or intimidation. In this regard, His Majesty the King expressed his pride in the performance of independent human rights institutions and civil society associations for their unprecedented role in the region in guaranteeing human rights and political, civil and cultural freedoms, including freedom of expression. His Majesty expressed his appreciation of the effective role of Bahrain Journalists Association in uniting journalists and protecting their professional achievements and rights while affirming their commitment to their mission in accordance with the law and their charter of honor. He also expressed deep appreciation of the efforts by the Ministry of Information Affairs and its personnel to develop the media and communication sector through all its channels to train national staff, embrace young and creative talents of both sexes, implement advanced technical projects. He added that the ministry's role extends to updating the legislative framework, enhancing the security and stability of the country, deepening its ties with the Gulf Cooperation Council, the GCC and the Arab world, and disseminated the value of unity, moderation and tolerance had derived from human history, Islamic civilization and authentic Arab values. His Majesty stated that in the efforts of furthering the media message, His Majesty directed government ministries and agencies to continue their steady coordination with the Ministry of Information Affairs in uh, disseminating uh, the facts and information and improving the professional and social situation of journalists and media professionals. He went on, on to assert his confidence in national uh, consciousness and awareness that the media are not just tools for disseminating news and information without verifying their accuracy and credibility, but rather institutions with a fundamental human message. His Majesty stated that the world and region are facing growing threats of violent extremism, the emergence of terrorist organizations and their grave threats to the integrity of the civilian state and their targeting of regional and international security and peace. He affirmed his appreciation of the sincere national discourse as well as his pride in the honorable media stance regarding the deliberate campaigns against uh, the Kingdom of Bahrain, which have implicated external parties that do not want our country to move forward and progress. 
His Majesty added that these external parties are engaged in deceitful endeavors and have resorted to misleading claims, misinformation and rumors both at home and abroad in failed malicious attempts to target the kingdom's reform, obstruct national democracy and developmental progress. In this regard, His Majesty the King expressed his pride in the honorable history of Bahrain, which has throughout the ages established religious and sectarian coexistence, respect for ethnic and cultural diversity, and international initiatives to spread the culture of peace. His Majesty stated his aspirations for the media to perform their duties in promoting the spirit of national unity within societies, spreading human values and the religious teachings of tolerance, and enlightening people about the dangers of inciting division, sectarianism, religious hatred, violence and terrorism. His Majesty underlined the urgency to take necessary measures to rein in the security and moral chaos in the media, electronic and otherwise, through the commitment of the international satellite channels and various medias to international conventions by fully embracing accuracy, honesty and objectivity in presenting their news and opinions. His Majesty also urged media to adopt international partnerships in promoting the safe and rational use of the Internet and social media, in avoiding incitement, defamation or violation of public morals and promoting effective cooperation in the fight against all types of cyber crimes. His Majesty the King concluded by affirming his conviction that the free and pluralistic media committed to the values of integrity and transparency in their mission and credibility and objectivity in their direction are the main pillars in advance countries towards further progress and prosperity and achieving the goals of 2030 sustainable development plan for the establishment of safe peaceful and prosperous global societies his majesty prayed to God, to god almighty to succeed in achieving the welfare and interests of our beloved kingdom and its loyal citizens safeguarding its security stability and moving on with further reforms and progress in various democratic economic and social fields in honor of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Majesty Sultan Mohammed V of Malaysia held a dinner banquet yesterday evening at the National Palace in the Malaysian capital Kuala Lumpur. The Malaysian King and the Malaysian Prime Minister Mohammed Najib Abdul Razak were at the forefront to receive His Majesty the King. His Majesty the King recorded a speech in the Senior Visitors Log in which he expressed pride in visiting Malaysia and meeting its King, hailing his contributions to developing the country and achieving safety and stability. He also expressed admirations in the advancement of Malaysia and the keenness on reconciling between religion, heritage and modern development to achieve harmony amongst the Malaysian people, wishing them further prosperity and progress. His Majesty then held a meeting with the Malaysian King in which he reviewed the deep-rooted relations between the two countries and exchanged gifts. Majesty then headed to the Royal Banquets Hall in the National Palace, where the two countries' national anthems were played.
The Imam of the palace prayed to Allah Almighty to protect the two nations, their leaders, their people, and preserve their safety <laughs> and security. <laughs> والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين الله ما يعزيز يا قهار كم من رتعنا المهون في قدمه تفيق لنا هداية إن عيادة العاية إرد كنا فهمون أن ينتظر كم من تم جرين كم الصحابة تدنا في السماء ينتظر كم من ماليزيا دنا في البحرين serta pemimpin kedua-dua negara keselamatan dan kesejahteraan juga kami puankan ya Allah ke atas His Majesty King Ahmad bin Isa Al Khalifa King of the Kingdom of Bahrain para pemimpin dan seluruh rakyat kedua-dua negara agar terhindar dari segala keburukan dan mara bahaya Allahumma barik lana fi ma razaqtana wa qina adab al-nar Rabbana atina fi dunia hasana wa fi al-akhirat hasana wa qina adab al-nar وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين والحمد لله رب العالمين. A number of citizens then presented a show of Malaysian folklore. The Malaysian king delivered the following speech. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbi Alameen wa bihi nasta'in. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Saudara beta Raja Ahmad bin Isa Al-Khalifa, tuan-tuan yang terutama, dif-dif jemputan kehormat tuan-tuan dan puan-puan, beta menzahirkan penhargaan serta mengalu-alukan lawatan negara duli yang maha mulia Tuanku Raja Ahmad bin Isa Al Khalifa berserta kerabat diraja dan anggota delegasi Bahrain ke Malaysia. Sesungguhnya kita berharap agar lawatan ini akan membawa kenangan kepada tuanku dan delegasi. Sesungguhnya negara kita dan tuanku menikmati hubungan baik dan teguh. Lawatan ini akan menyumbang ke arah peningkatan perhubungan persaudaraan antara dua negara serta hubungan pribadi antara pemimpin kedua negara. Jelas sekali dapat dizahirkan bahawa lawatan negara seperti ini memberikan peluang kepada kedua-dua negara untuk memperkukuh lagi kerjasama dalam pelbagai bidang seperti pendidikan, pelancongan dan perdagangan. Kedua-dua negara merupakan anggota pertubuhan bangsa-bangsa bersatu PBB 
Pergerakan negara berkecuali NAM Non Alliance Movement dan Pertubuhan Kerjasama Islam OIC dan kedua-dua berkongsi pandangan berhubung isu-isu global khususnya yang berkaitan dengan isu sejagat dan umat. Duli yang mengambil tuanku, Peta Amat Gembira melihat kesungguhan kedua-dua negara untuk meningkatkan hubungan dua hala. Terdapat peluang dan potensi dalam meningkatkan perdagangan dua hala. Atas sebab itu, Malaysia ingin menjemput dan menggalakkan sektor swasta kedua-dua negara untuk memainkan peranan lebih aktif menurut ke peluang perdagangan dan pelaburan di Malaysia dan Bahrain. Peta percaya masa masih banyak peluang dan manfaat yang boleh digembeling bersama dalam menerima peluang ekonomi di antara kedua-dua negara. Namun, kita berkeyakinan bahawa potensi tersebut bukan hanya wujud melalui perdagangan dan pelaburan. Dalam perihal ini, suka kita menzahirkan bahawa kerjasama dalam bidang pertahanan akan terus menguatkan hubungan antara kedua-dua negara. Justru, kita sekali lagi ingin menzahirkan Rasa terima kasih dan perhargaan kepada tuanku dan delegasi kerana sudi bertandang ke Istana Beta pada hari ini. Beta berdoa kepada Allah SWT agar tuanku dikurniakan afiah dan kesejahteraan dan semoga rakyat Bahrain dirahmati dengan keamanan dan kemakmuran yang berpanjangan. InsyaAllah. Wabillahi taufiq wa hidayah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. His Majesty the King then delivered the following speech. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Sahib al-Jalal al-Sultan Muhammad al-Khamis, Malik Malaysia al-Mu'adham, Sahib al-Sumu al-Hudur al-Kiram. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. يطيب لنا في البداية أن نعرب عن شكرنا وتقديرنا لدعوة جلالتكم الكريمة لنا لزيارة ماليزيا الشقيقة التي أسعدتنا زيارتها ووجدنا فيها كل ما يؤكد على ما نعرفه من عراقة عراقة تاريخها الإنساني وعمق نهضتها الحديثة وما يبشر باستمرار تقدمها ورخائها بفضل قيادتكم من بعد الله وتكاتف أخواننا أصحاب الجلال الأجلاء لتكون مملكتكم الشامخة نموذجا متكاملا للتنمية الشاملة بمختلف أبعادها صاحب الجلال تعتز مملكة البحرين بتوجهات ماليزيا الثابتة والمتزنة في الانفتاح على العالم وتبنيها لقيم الوسطية والاعتدال وتمسكها بمبادئ التعايش والتسامح ورعايتها للتعددية الثقافية والدينية وهذا نهج متأصل تتبناه سياسات بلادنا على الدوام لحفظ مكتسباتها وصد كل ما يهدد نمائها واستقرارها وفي هذا السياق نقدر لماليزيا أشد التقدير مشاركتها الفاعلة والمؤثرة في قوات التحالف الإسلامي والدفاع المشترك لمواجهة وصد قوى التطرف والإرهاب وإرساء أسس السلام لمستقبل مشرق وواعد لأمتنا الإسلامية بإذن الله تعالى وتوفيقه إن مملكة البحرين حكم علاقاتها الوثيقة مع بلدكم الشقيق وما تحقق عبر تاريخ تواصلنا من تعاون مثمر في المجالات التجارية والاستثمارية 
لا تؤكد على استعدادها الدائم بإتاحة كافة إمكاناتها للوقوف مع ماليزيا وفتح آفاق عمل جديدة تعود على بلدينا بالنماء والإزدهار متطلعين بهذا الشأن إلى سرعة تفعيل الاتفاقيات ومذكرات التفاهم التي سنعتمدها قدا إن شاء الله في المجال الدفاعي ومجالات الخدمات الجوية ومجالات النفط والغاز وبالإضافة للتعاون بين قرفتي التجارة والصناعة وذلك لتعزيز مسارات التعاون بين بلدينا الشقيقين وختاما يسرنا أن نتوجه لكم بخالص التهاني على الذكرى الأولى لاعتلائكم للعرش التي احتفلت بها ماليزيا قبل أيام قليلة شاكرين لجلالتكم ما شاهدناه والوفد المرافق من حسن استقبال وكرم ضيافة منذ وصولنا لماليزيا الشقيقة منتهزين هذه الفرصة الطيبة بتوجيه دعوتنا لجلالتكم ولجميع من يحضر هذه الأمسية الكريمة لزيارة مملكة البحرين التي تعتز بعلاقاتها الأخوية الوثيقة مع بلدكم دعينا الله تعالى أن يوفقكم في خدمة وطنكم ودوام تقدمه إنه سميع مجيب والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a meeting with Malaysia's Prime Minister Mohammed Najib Abdul Razak during the official visit of His Majesty the King. Upon arrival, His Majesty was received by Malaysia's Prime Minister and then His Majesty recorded a statement in the senior visitor's record in which he praised the country's firm stances towards Arab and Islamic issues and its keenness to enhance the brotherly relations with the Kingdom of Bahrain. The meeting also included discussions of regional and international topics and the highlighting of the bilateral relations and cooperation and ways to bolster these relations, especially in the industrial, commercial, economic, education, investment, tourism, defense and military fields. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to Malaysia for their generous hosting and warm reception. He expressed hope that this visit will contribute to enhancing the economic and investment sectors between the two countries. After that, a number of agreements and MOUs were signed that will enhance the bilateral cooperation. The agreements include air services, defense, the Chamber of Commerce and Industry, oil and gas, small and medium-sized projects. His Majesty then attended a dinner banquet held by Malaysia's Prime Minister.
The royal court announced today that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa is heading tomorrow to Bruni, the abode of peace, in response to an invitation from His Majesty Sultan Hassan Al Bolkia of Bruni. Their Majesties will hold talks on relations of friendship and cooperation and ways of further enhancing them, in addition to regional and international developments, as well as issues of common concern. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa saluted the press, stressing the importance of free and honest word in developing the present and building the future. He said that the fourth state has a crucial role in building nations and supporting sustainable development, underscoring the importance of the press in shaping public opinion. In a keynote message on the World Press Freedom Day, which falls tomorrow, His Royal Highness paid tribute to the fourth state and the media. Which which he said elevates society, supports development, enlightens minds, elicits creativity and innovation, promotes social cohesion, and consolidates national security and stability. The 2017 World Press Freedom Day is being held this year under the theme Critical Minds for Critical Times, media's role in advancing peaceful, just, and inclusive societies. He saluted Bahraini journalists, commending their dedicated role to project or to project uh, the world the true image of their homeland as a pioneering country on uh, the level of freedom and development. He hailed the national press strides, hailing the royal care in the era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, who supports media freedom and believes firmly in the importance of the influential word in protecting the country's security and stability. He added that freedom of opinion and expression is enshrined in the Constitution, which allows journalists to express their views without affecting national unity or social cohesion. He took pride in the dedication of Bahraini journalists who reflect uh, through their objective ideas and views the aspirations of the nation and citizens, thus contributing fully to the defense of the homeland and the protection of national achievements. The Prime Minister paid tribute to uh, successive uh, generations of Bahrain writers, columnists and uh, journalists who left an imprint which impacted social development and enlightenment, expressing confidence in the current uh, generation to continue the march. His Royal Highness urged journalists and the media community to mobilize in serving the nation and debunking media fallacies and lies being orchestrated in a bid to destabilize the country and undermine social cohesion. He stressed the importance of benefiting to the maximum from the new social media and spreading information that serves societies and enhances their development instead of utilizing them to destabilize nations. He urged the young generation to arm itself with a wealth of knowledge and benefit fully from technological strides in serving their homeland. He commended the role of the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, the UNESCO, in consolidating press and media liberties in the world and advocating cultural and human reproachment for the good of human beings. On the sidelines of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's visit to Malaysia, Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa held a meeting with his Malaysian counterpart, Dr. Dato Seri Ahmed Zahid Humaydi. The meeting included discussions of bilateral relations and ways to further bolster these relations in all fields, in addition to cooperation between the GCC countries and associations of Southeast Asian nations, ASEAN. Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak affirmed the importance of His Majesty's visit in which it will enhance bilateral relations and strengthen the level of cooperation to benefit both countries and people. Both sides then discussed regional and international developments and strides or stressed uh, the need to maintain security and stability of the region and the world. Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak then held a uh, lunch uh, banquet in honor of the Malaysian Prime Minister. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Mullah, chaired today the weekly meeting where the meeting approved the request of the Standing Committee for Human Rights to postpone uh, presenting their reports for a period of four weeks. The Council reviewed letters and responses regarding environmental situations in some cities, fishermen's uh, harbors, and measuring the degree of pollution. The meeting then discussed a draft law on real estate sector regulation law and agreed to postpone the draft law to next session. 
Minister of Interior Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa attended today the graduation ceremony of the 31st Commandos Batch in the presence of Deputy Interior Minister Lieutenant General Adl Al Fadl, Chief of Public Security Major General Tariq Al Hassan, and Under Secretary of Interior Ministry Sheikh Nasr bin Abdul Rahman Al Khalifa, and the Commander of Special Security Forces. The Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to the wise leadership for their constant support to all sectors of the Interior Ministry, which increases the performance of policemen. He congratulated the graduates for their success, asserting the importance of further building on what they have learned at the level of with all security challenges. During the ceremony, the commander of the Special Security Force delivered a speech in which he commended the continuous support and directives of the Interior Minister, highlighting that the graduates have attended or attained all types of advanced training courses which enable them to perform their duties with efficiency. The graduates have performed some of the practical skills they have learned, which showed their high-level readiness and hard work. After that, the Interior Minister honored the excellent participants and hailed the results of the graduates, which will contribute to the reinforcing, to reinforcing security. On the sideline of the official visit of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to Malaysia, the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed bin Rashid Al Zayani, met today the Malaysian Minister of International Trade and Industry, Mustafa Muhammad. The meeting discussed topics of common interest, especially those related to joint economic cooperation between the two friendly countries. The Minister of Industry hailed the joint efforts of the leaderships of both countries to enhance the ties to achieve common aspirations and reviewed the attractive investment environment of Bahrain through privileges and facilities provided to investors by the government. Information Affairs Minister Ali bin Mohammed al Ramehi has met with Malaysian Minister of Multimedia and Communications Saleh Kirouak today and stressed the role of the historic Bahraini Malaysian Summit in consolidating partnership and cooperation at political, economic, social, media, and cultural levels. The meeting was held on the sidelines of the current official visit of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa to Malaysia, aimed at boosting joint development interests and reinforcing the march of Islam solidarity as well as efforts to promote international and regional peace and security. Ramehi reviewed ways to enhance media cooperation, exchange of expertise and coordination in areas of radio and TV production, in addition to the interchange of information and news circulation and cooperation between both news agencies. He extended his sincere congratulations to press and media personnel of both countries, marking the World Press Freedom Day. He pointed out the importance of a concerted 
concerted or con concreted media efforts in highlighting the Islamic cultural and civilizational identity, disseminating the true image of Islam in bolstering the values of tolerance, justice, peace and moderation and confronting violence and terrorism and incitement for sectarian and racial hatred. The Malaysian minister welcomed the royal visit to his country, looking forward to broadening media cooperation to contribute to further boosting bilateral relations and accentuating Islamic causes in international forms. On the sidelines of the current official visit of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to Malaysia, the Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, met with Malaysian Financial Planning Minister Abdul Rahman Dahlan. The meeting discussed a number of topics of mutual interest concerned with oil, gas, oil exploration, refining and liquefying and natural gas, as well as economic cooperation in general. The Minister of Oil affirmed that large sectors for economic and oil cooperation exist between the kingdoms of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Malaysia, especially in the light of the great growth of relations between the two countries in various fields. The meeting also witnessed the signing of a number of MOUs, including a memorandum of oil cooperation between the holding company for oil and gas in the Kingdom of Bahrain and Malaysian Petronas Company. Under the patronage of uh, the wife of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, Her Highness uh, Sheikh Hissa bint Ali Al Khalifa, and in the presence of her daughter, Her Highness Sheikh Halulwa bint Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Children and Mothers Welfare Society organized today uh, the International Embassies Market in the Isa town with uh, the participation of 35 Arab and foreign embassies. The president of the society, Sheikh uh, Hind bint uh, Salman Al Khalifa, expressed thanks and appreciation to Her Highness Sheikha Hissa for her patronage of the event and to Her Highness Sheikha Lulua for her continuous support to charity work in the kingdom. Sheikha Hind also noted that the high participation in the event reflects the strong friendly relations between Bahrain and various countries, adding that the market's profits will be allocated for supporting kindergartens and nurseries affiliated to the society. The Kingdom of Bahrain presented its third national report to the Human Rights Council at its Geneva headquarters. This comes as part of the teamwork of periodic human rights review in line with His Majesty the King's reform concept that laid down the principles of fostering and protecting human rights in a democratic society that seeks security, stability and development. Assistant Foreign Minister at the, the Foreign Affairs Ministry, Abdullah Faisal al dosiri delivered a speech in which he stated the positive cooperation between the Bahrain government and the member states of the Human Rights Council on the second national report adopted by the Council in May 2012. He confirmed the government's support for the full implementation of 145 recommendations. The delegation of Bahrain to the 27th UPR Working Group session and thanks it for its presentation. We commend Bahrain for the concrete legislative and policy measures it has taken to implement recommendations received at its last UPR in 2012. Bahrain has sought to improve the rights of women through the launch of the 2013 to 2022 National Plan for the Advancement of Bahraini Women. Bahrain has also sought to promote the economic empowerment of women through skills development. We recommend that Bahrain continue to implement policies that promote gender equality and provide women with opportunities to play an active role in social, economic and political spheres. Upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to distribute 4,200 housing units in all kingdoms' governance. The Ministry of Housing continued today to implement its timetable by distributing housing units to eligible citizens. The Housing Ministry Under Secretary Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa announced the ministry began the distribution process of units for Umm Al Hassam housing project in the capital. He noted that the Department of Housing Services in the Ministry has contacted the citizens nominated to benefit from this project in order to attend the Ministry to complete the distribution of housing units. The beneficiaries of the unit of Umm al Hassam expressed their deep thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for his directives along with the Minister of Housing, Basim Yagub Al-Hamar. <laughs>